what's up YouTube iPod touches on fire here and I just want to give you guys a video showing you uh, the main features in iOS 5 I'm not gonna go over every feature but the main features that are given to you within um, iOS 5 and it releases tomorrow and uh, I have the GM so if you want to know how to get it just go to Ty's iPhone help he shows you how to get it earlier but what's the point it releases tomorrow so just wait till tomorrow to get iOS 5 so uh, the first thing you'll notice in iOS 5 is if you double tap the home button you get a camera icon so you can easily get into your camera by hitting the camera icon so uh, that's a cool thing and another thing is that when you're in your camera you can actually swipe to the left and see all your photos but since my iPod is locked they can't get into my photos so that's another great thing second uh, let me just unlock my iPod guys the second thing that's new to iOS 5 and that everyone was impatiently waiting for in iOS 5 was a better notification system and the new notification system is so nice I really like it you guys you just from the top and pull it down and then you get all your notifications here I have no, notif no new, uh, notifications now but all your notifications show up here and then you also get a weather widget and a stocks widget right there as well the uh, people are saying th this is copying Android and that uh, uh, they're just taking ideas from Android but I personally like this better than Android because Android it just freezes up in the middle and stuff this is smooth and it comes down and it goes back up smoothly now the next thing um, that's new in iOS 5 is the, so the over the air software updates now this is amazing I love the fact that they integrated this in iOS 5 uh, so you just go to software update it'll check and then it'll find the new software update and the great thing about this is that they'll send in Delta software updates and for those of you guys who don't know Delta software updates just installs the stuff that the software needs so it won't install the complete so the complete software update it'll just install the, the things that it needs and then it'll update your iPod or iPhone or iPad now the next thing and now since we're in settings is that you get iTunes Wi-Fi sync now this is amazing I love this because now uh, you don't have to have your computer hooked up to, you don't have to have your iPod hooked up to your computer to do this this is so simple you just let me just unplug my iPod if it works not too sure if it works uh, yeah so you have to be connected to power first of all you have to be connected to power for this to work so if you're charging your iPod at night and you're one of those people who leave their uh, who leaves their computer on with iTunes open after they've uh, they finish using um, iTunes with their iPod and stuff uh, leave iTunes open and if you leave iTunes open and your computer on plug it up to your charger in your room or wherever else you have your charger and it will wirelessly sync your iPod to your to your iTunes without a problem over three I think it's over Wi-Fi yeah it's over Wi-Fi I'm not too sure if it does it over 3G on iPhone but I'm pretty sure it's only over Wi-Fi now another thing about uh, the the new software is that you can actually change the name of your iPod in the in the device so if you want to change your iPod's name to say uh you're gonna like sell it and you just want to put iPod you can put it there as iPod and uh, just to give you proof you guys uh, I am on 5.0 I don't know if you can see that uh, let me see uh, this makes it worse but if you can see right there it's 5.098334 and this is a 32 gigabyte iPod touch fourth generation and um, getting back to uh, iOS 5 um, it shows you the usage as well it tells it shows you how much uh, space each application is taking up on your iPod so if you don't want a certain application you can easily remove it from your iPod if you think one application is taking up too much space and you want to free up some memory then go ahead and you could delete it if you if you believe that and it also tells you your iCloud total storage and how much you have available so I have 4.7 gigabytes available and my total is 5 now 
going on to iCloud and iCloud you can actually back up your contacts calendars your reminders your safari bookmarks notes mail everything can uh, be uh, can be backed up to the cloud so you don't have to actually back it up to your computer you can actually back it up to the cloud and uh, I find my iPod another great feature you can also uh, have find my iPod or find my iPhone for free now so you don't have to have a you don't have to like pay like a hundred bucks for mobile me and you can have find my iPod for free and um one last feature I want to show you guys before I sign out is uh telling you guys that you can actually delete songs straight off your iPod so if you just swipe to the right you can actually delete songs in your iPod now instead of going into iTunes and uh, going through all that trouble so you can actually delete songs right off your iPod so uh, those are the main features right now you guys in iOS 5 and uh, hope you guys uh, get the update depending on what iPods that you have so hopefully you guys get it you guys love it you guys enjoy it and uh, thanks for watching hope you guys subscribe to my channel like this video and uh, comment uh, share this with your friends and uh, thanks for watching and uh, uh, be back tomorrow with a video of if there's any changes in iOS 5, um, if there's any differences between this iOS 5 and the iOS 5 that they'll deliver tomorrow. So, peace out.